Hello, I'm Cam Ingram, and today we're in the Rhodes Scholars Service Shop here in Durham, North Carolina. As you can see behind me, we have 718 Chassis 4, one of the Works RSKs. Uh, we just did a livery change into its pivotal moment in history when it won the Daytona 1000 kilometer race in 1959 with its famous Argentinian livery. And the owner is arriving tomorrow uh, for his first drive in it, so we're very excited about that. And right here next to me, I have Gaman. We have Gaman Chassis 50 of the first 52 uh, road cars, of course, made in Gaman, Austria, the beginning of the Porsche story. Uh, we're preparing this for Pebble Beach and very excited about that. But the reason for our video today is this 904. This is chassis 50, 904 chassis 50 of just over the 100 904s made. This car had an infamous life of being delivered to Jim Hall of Chaparral, Chaparral fame, the team owner in Texas, but spent most of its life with Leonard Turner, who was the photographer uh, for the Porsche Club of America, and it spent most of its life here in the United States with him. And how lucky are we, because he had the great knowledge and wisdom to keep this car original. As you can see, this probably resonates on camera as absolutely an artifact, and that's what it is. It's a survivor, as, the, as we say, they only are original once, and this car is amazing in every detail of how these were built by Henkel, the company that manufactured the bodies, the fiberglass bodies, and by Porsche when they took them delivery of the bodies and how they finished these cars and produced them uh, for customer delivery. As we all know, the 904 is a pivotal model for Porsche. It was a transition from the aluminum era into the new aerospace era with the composites. And of course, the 904 uh, designed by Ferdinand Butzi Porsche widely recognized as one of the most beautiful race cars ever built, but this being one of the magical cars, one of two cars that's completely original. One of the things that I'd love to point out, because this model has been often over-restored for so many years with perfect paint and perfect details, is the inconsistency of the body gaps. You can see how tight and loose they get on the doors and on the clamshells tight in areas, wide in areas. You can see the crude construction of fiberglass, uh, the fiberglass popping up through the paint, particularly through these uh, brake ducts. And in the front, we can go to the front, I'll show you that, that's one of my favorite things, how thin the paint is. But you can see around these pockets, around the fog lights, again, the fiberglass is just there, especially around the oil cooler as well. Again, these cars were finished in a way of getting them done and produced and getting them to the racetrack. But like we've learned as a, in the restoration industry, these artifact and survivor cars are so pivotal for history because now we can really have data points, artifacts of how these cars were truly built and delivered. Thank you, Aaron's here to assist us. We're gonna open up this engine bay. Thank you, Aaron. Now we can see some of those crude details. Again, this fiberglass. A lot of cars, uh, 904s I've looked at over the years, these are always finished out way too nicely. You can see how these were uh, pulled out of the mold. You can see this touch up of these hinge bolts. Again, these are all details that haven't been messed with. Uh, Chassis 50 it really has had great caretakers, custodians over the years. But now we see all these data points of not just the original finishes of the hardware and paint, but things like these air cleaners. One of the first things that most of the race mechanics did in era at tracks all over the globe is take these off and toss them because it would impede their access to the carburetor. So to have the whole uh, system here intact is amazing, even the original uh, brackets. Uh, that just blows my mind. As well as the heat shield around the exhaust. That was one of the other things that a mechanic would have uh, taken off and tossed at the track. As well as the bottom uh, aluminum louvered uh, pan on the bottom of the engine. Another item that is not on most 904s because again during the period that was one of the first things to, di to get discarded. We're gonna look at the interior. This is, we'll probably get more B-roll, but this is, again, 
priceless information of how these cars were delivered and painted. Just the color of the gray. You know, you know, one of the things that you see in most restored 904s is the incorrect color of the gray in the interior. And again, these original seats, it's just remarkable to have these as data points. This is one of the cool factors of a 904. You just take them right out like this and you can see the original co coconut fiber stuffing in there and just how beautiful these original seats are. So this is again, one of those cars that's a once in a lifetime car. To have chassis 50, an original car, this is the second time we've actually, the chassis 50 has gone through our shop. It's heading to Germany to its new home, ancestral home. It's got a great new caretaker. But it's an honor to get to touch, feel, and preserve these cars because that's really what it is. It's preservation of history. Anyways, we thought we're special enough to, to do a video on today, and uh, it's on its maiden voyage back home to Germany. But thank you for watching. Take care.